Now, let us take a look at this example. Find the angular distance between the position A at 40 degrees north, 65 degrees east, and the position B at 35 degrees south, 65 degrees east. So, you are required to always draw the diagram with a free hand. Do not use a compass because actually the earth, the shape of the earth is not a round circle, it is a sphere. Okay, so when you draw the diagram, the north pole is at the top, the south pole is at the bottom. So you draw the polar axis to join both poles. Okay, then in most cases, you'll be required to draw the equator. So you make outline the equator so that we know. All right. So then you go to the positions given. As we can see in the questions, we can see similarity of 65 degrees east and 65 degrees east for both position. Okay. So we know this is the west zone and this is the east zone. All right. So that means the the right hand side is where we are going to draw that longitude that is longitude okay good right so then we go back to the positions for a we have 40 degrees not 40 degrees not is up to the north okay so you now draw the latitude upward towards the north pole you can label it 40 degrees not then at the point, at this point, this is A. It is the point at which the longitude and the longitude and the latitude meet. So that is at 40 degrees north, 65 degrees east. You can as well label the 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 longitude 65 degrees east. Okay. Then for the position B. It says it at the latitude 35 degrees south. So you have that as well drawn 35 degrees south coming to the bottom. So at the point where the longitude and the latitude meet, that is the point B. Okay. Then the center of the equator O, then you can connect the radius from the center to the point A and B. Okay, so now we can draw the cross section of this overview. All right, so north, south, so you draw the polar axis, well, all right. So after drawing that, then the equator, you draw the line for the equator, equator so from the equator it moves up to the north 40 degrees then you draw the line at 40 degrees then moving down to the south pole at 35 degrees all right so the arc a has a position at a and this is the position at b all right so the angular distance is equal to the addition of we're talking about this angle okay so we need to add the two angles 40 degrees plus 35 degrees okay so 40 plus 35 that will give us 75 degrees so this is the angular distance between these two points A and B. Okay. You should note that we added the two degrees together. Okay. Since they are of different hemisphere, the north and the south. 
and you can see this is exactly what we're talking about this angle okay so that is the angular distance and sometimes also called the angular difference of the two position a and b okay good